Hi, and welcome to Sailing Adventures with Island Girl. Also, my other channel, Travel Adventures with Island Girl. Well, today I'm in Panama City Beach, Florida, and we are just checking out the beautiful scenery. This is one of my favorite things to do in the world is walk up and down the docks and look at sailboats. I'm always looking for my next boat. So, interesting place. Um, I'm actually at a place called Dolphin Bay uh, Marina, which this is considered a hurricane hole, which means this is where boats go in uh, during hurricanes or really bad storms to be kind of sheltered. And um, we had Hurricane Michael here about four years ago and in 2018, and like every single marina in the area was decimated. Boats stacked on each other. I lost three boats in the hurricane and it was just a complete mess. Meanwhile, ta-da, um, Dolphin Bay, the hurricane hole, everything was pretty good except for like the tidal area, but there weren't boats stacked up here. There was minimal damage. So that's what a hurricane hole is all about. There, that's where you want to have a boat is in a marina that's considered a hurricane hull, okay? That's gonna be really sheltered from any of the directional winds that come with a hurricane. Um, anyhow, let's take a look and walk down the docks and see what we can see. Um, majority of the boats here are motor yachts, just because the entry off of um, St. Andrews Bay is so shallow coming in here. And if you're a sailboat, you, your draft, which means the depth of your boat, can't be any more than about four and a half, five feet. <clears throat> so let's check out some stuff. Here's one sailboat. There's some sailboats way across the way, but I walked over there this morning and it looks like those are loaded up with oysters and everything. They look like they've been through a storm and they're just kind of sitting there. But another thing in Florida waters, wow, you really have to keep the bottom of your boat clean. Uh, I mean, when I had my boat here, I was getting it cleaned like once a month just because the growth around here, it you will start growing algae, you'll get start getting barnacles. Once a month, I had to just at least wipe it down so that you wouldn't start getting any barnacles really latching in. Um, whereas in Northern waters, like uh, in Virginia, where I'm at right now with my boat, I can let it go maybe four or five months, depends on the temperature of the water and what type of life is in the water. So down here, you gotta clean your hole a lot, your running gear, everything. Up north, in colder weather or waters, not so much. You know, you can let it go a little longer. So we're just looking, looking, looking at stuff. I like to look at like dinghy davits and who has um who has solar and how it's hooked up and things I might want on my boat. And then here is another boat. This is actually a CSY that's actually for sale. Ooh, and this is one of my dream boats. Um, that right there, that's an island packet. Those are really nice. They usually have a, um, a design of a star on them. And uh, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful boats. They usually have the metal frames around the ports. And yeah, really nice boat.
I like to see what everybody's named their boats too. I just like to look at the names, where they're from. This is a nice one. This one's called Southern Lady. This has a couple things that I want for my next boat. I want the sail to come out from the mast that's one thing that way it keeps everything you know pretty much in line you're not messing with the with the sails trying to bring them down you don't have lazy jacks uh, that keep the sails you know in place um, but this one doesn't have a windlass on the front which is uh it helps bring the anchor in um, and i'm tired of hauling an anchor up by hand so with my next boat i want the um the sails to come out of the mast and I want a windlass on my boat. That would make life a lot easier. And then we get ones like, like this. This boat probably went through the storm and it's probably been sitting here since the hurricane came through um, from the looks of the dinghy and everything like that. But the bottom, the bottom looks clean. Anyhow, so just walking the docks, checking out boats seeing what things I want on my next boat. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Florida, Panama City Beach. So just take a look. Got palm trees. You can see the moon up there. It's about 85 degrees in the middle of November, in the beginning of November. I think daylight savings time is this week. So, my favorite pastime, looking at boats in marinas. Anyhow, this has been Sailing Adventures with Island Girl. Also, Travel Adventures with Island Girl. And I'll see you on the next mountain or out in the ocean. Have a good one. Bye.